Ministry of Trade's Director General of Foreign Trade has received gratification fees or bribes from a number of palm oil companies in exchange for the issuing of export permits, even when those companies did not fulfill requirements. Currently, high-ranking employees from four palm oil companies have, excuse me, from three palm oil companies have been suspected of corruption, and the AGO is planning to widen the investigation and look into 88 palm oil companies who has received export permits as well. Indonesia's Attorney General S.T. Burnahuddin recently announced that the Ministry of Trade's Director General of Foreign Trade has been named a suspect in a corruption case involving the illicit issuing of export permits to three palm oil companies. High-ranking employees from these three palm oil companies have now also been named suspects. The Director General of Foreign Trade, Indra Sari Wisnuwardana, is suspected of receiving bribes from these three palm oil companies in exchange for the issuing of export permits, even when those companies did not fulfill the requirements to supply crude palm oil for domestic needs. Indeed, in January 2022, the Indonesian Ministry of Trade imposed a domestic market obligation on crude palm oil in which palm oil companies must sell 20% of their export volume. If they did not do this, then they would not be given export permits. The Attorney General's office stated that they will now widen their investigation and look into 88 palm oil companies who had received export permits as well. Meanwhile, the Indonesian president himself, President Joko Widodo, admitted that he believes that the recent increases in cooking oil prices has been caused by foul play in the cooking oil and crude palm oil industries. Dan saya minta diusut tuntas sehingga kita bisa tahu siapa ini yang bermain ini bisa ngerti. Ini kita lihat sudah berjalan berapa minggu ini belum efektif di pasar saya lihat Minyak curah banyak yang belum sesuai dengan hak itu yang kita tetapkan. Artinya memang ada permainan. Meanwhile, the Minister of Trade, Muhammad Lutfi, affirmed that he and the Trade Ministry will fully support the corruption investigation that is involving his own ministry's Director General of Foreign Trade. Kami menyatakan dengan tegas Kementerian Perdagangan tetap dan terus mendukung proses hukum yang tengah berjalan saat ini. Kementerian Perdagangan juga siap memberikan informasi yang diperlukan dalam proses penegakan hukum. Tindakan korupsi dan penyalahgunaan wewenang menimbulkan kerugian negara dan berdampak terhadap perekonomian nasional serta merugikan masyarakat. Kami juga telah menginstruksikan jajaran Kemendak untuk membantu proses penegakan hukum yang tengah berlangsung. Unveiling this act of corruption is indeed crucial for ensuring the adequate supply of crude palm oil. And to push down the prices of cooking oil, as palm oil is a crucial ingredient for the production of cooking oil. Indeed, cooking oil prices have seen significant surges compared to the year before, as allegations of corruption and foul play within the cooking oil and crude palm oil industries has been touted as the reason behind these price increases.